John, thanks very much indeed, and welcome to City Hall, where a little later on today, because it's a time of council elections too, we'll be looking at how the three main parties are using London as a testing ground for some very different visions of town hall government. A Liberal Democrat vision for a London council can be found in Sutton, a borough that prides itself on being green. I'm here from uh, Sutton Council's Smart Travel Sutton scheme. Okay. Uh, we just came around the area promoting cycling. The council here have run a multi-million pound scheme encouraging people out of cars. They claim it's led to a greater increase in cycling than any other outer London borough. I think there's a lot of schemes that are very worthwhile, but this is a really good one to spend my council tax and my money on. Um, because it is a very topical issue being environmentally friendly and being green. In Sutton, obviously, with the Liberal Democrats being in power, that's what they stand for. But according to Conservatives, the council have a record of waste and inefficiency. They're living on past glories. They've actually started making a lot of mistakes that's costing the taxpayers a lot of money. Green garden waste, they wanted to start charging to collect the green garden waste from residents' homes at £35 a bag. And it's actually meant that in reversing it, because it was an unpopular decision, it's cost taxpayers £800,000. However radical or not London's local authorities are, the truth may be that on May the 6th, when people come to vote, it will be national and international issues that decide which party they vote for. Andrew Cryan uh, reporting there. Joining me here, three uh, leading uh, council figures uh, from London, from all three main parties. Steve Reid, who's the Labour leader of uh, Lambeth. Uh, Lynn Hillen, who's the Conservative leader of uh, Barnet. And Ruth Dombey, who's the deputy leader of Liberal Democrat controlled uh, Sutton. Uh, you are. I think Sutton is the, the, the authority that has been longest held by the Liberal That's Democrats. Right, You've yes. been in there a, for a long time. Um, we've, we've heard here that you've drawn sort of plaudits for the transport idea. At the same time, locally, concerns about, you're not quite as green as you make out, incinerator plan, worries about um, noxious gases that those cyclists may start ingesting as they cycle past. I think it's really interesting to hear people talking about models when in fact what we're talking about is having a dialogue with residents. We may not always get it right, but what we're doing is listening to what residents are saying and then taking the appropriate action. So if people tell us that they want to find different ways of getting about, they want to find ways of not using the car, we're actually able to, to uh, as you saw in the film, we're actually able to go out and talk to them and see how we can encourage them to leave the cars What at happens with something like this incinerator though? It's always a big, something like that, there's always a huge issue in a local area. Of course it is, but the, the difference now is that it's no longer Sutton making decisions on its own. In order to save money, we're together with five boroughs. We're working together to decide what's the best option, and between us we'll sort that out. It was really interesting to see there the leader of the Conservative opposition standing outside Hackbridge Station. The most important thing that's happening there at the moment is that we are creating a suburb where people are going to be living lives which are built on sustainable issues, and I think that's just so important, completely missed the do you um, wish you'd thought of what these two had done? Absolutely not. Why not? Because it is about having a dialogue with the residents. It's about trust. Yes, people are talking about jobs, they're talking about economy, but they will only believe what you're saying if they trust what you're doing and if you have a record to be built they might, on. They trust them, Steve, in, well, in Sutton, she says, on the smarter travel. I mean, what hard choices for you, Ruth? I mean, there I, are huge inequalities all across London and all across the country. So you're introducing a 35 quid um, charge for, for, for collecting we green waste? We thought it was unfair to charge the borough are the but residents of our it. borough. We proposed it. And then seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds it cost to collect green garden waste. Not everyone's able to use that service. But the residents of Sutton told us that they didn't agree with us. They wanted to go back to a free collection, which means it's put on the council tax. And we said fine. Uh, that's for, what we'll for both do. of you, may pass it. Is this